What is the purpose of the thousand year reign of Christ? We're going to answer that question. You can also discover more on gotquestions.org. The millennium, aka the millennial kingdom, is the thousand year reign of Jesus after the tribulation and before the great white throne judgment of the wicked. During the millennium, Jesus will reign as king over Israel and all the nations of the world. The world will live in peace, Satan will be bound, and at the beginning everyone will worship God. The purpose of the thousand year reign is to fulfill various covenants God made with the world. The Palestinian Covenant God has already fulfilled the personal aspects of the Abrahamic Covenant. Abraham did go to the Promised Land, had many descendants, and was the forefather of many nations. Joshua led the Israelites to claim ownership of the Promised Land. But Israel has never possessed the specific boundaries that God promised. Not even Solomon's reign covered this particular area. In addition, the covenant God made with Abraham was that his descendants would have the land forever. Even today, Israel doesn't reach the boundaries God laid out. The Davidic Covenant God's covenant with David was that his line would never die out and that David's heir would sit on the throne of Israel forever. Biblical scholars agree that Jesus is the fulfillment of this covenant. His genealogy is given for both his adoptive father and his mother. The Jews understood this when they laid down palm branches as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, but they didn't understand. The nature of Jesus' work was for the New Covenant, not for the Davidic Covenant. The 1,000 year reign will be the beginning of Jesus' reign over Israel and the earth. The New Covenant The work of the New Covenant, Jesus' death and resurrection to reconcile hearts to God, has already been accomplished, but we have not yet seen the complete fulfillment. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my law within them, and I will write it on their hearts. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. You shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. This covenant does not mean that every Jew will be saved, but it does mean that Israel as a nation will worship their Messiah. All of the Old Testament prophets who spoke of this covenant said it will be fulfilled in the future. From their time on, Israel has yet to be an independent nation that worshiped its Messiah. They will be in the 1000 year reign of Christ. The Bible lists other promises that will be fulfilled. God promised Jesus he will make his enemies a footstool and that Jesus' followers will worship him freely. God promised the nations of the world that they would live in peace with Jesus as their ruler. And he promised creation that the curse would be lifted, animals and the earth would be restored to peace and prosperity, and the people would be freed from disease. These two will be fulfilled during the 1000 year reign. The main purpose of Jesus' 1000 year reign is to fulfill the prophecies given to Israel and the promises made to Jesus, the nations, and the whole earth. God's covenants were voluntary and one-sided. He promised he would bless Israel and restore the world in specific ways, and he will. That answers the question, what is the purpose of the thousand year reign of Christ? On our website, gotquestions.org, you'll find a deeper discussion and recommended resources. If this helped you, give us a thumbs up and click subscribe. Meanwhile, if you'd like to study more, click the bell and check out these other questions.